hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel where we give love and love on purr oh my god i can't believe i'm trying to be consistent but then come peek with me i just had to wash the pants because i'm just extra clean it's not that we're not cleaned or washed so these are the ingredients that i'm gonna use for the baking right in here uh, as dry ingredients I will touch as to what they are and the measurements should you want to try this recipe but by the way I think I should have added one and a half cup of sugar instead of like just one cup but then <clears throat> and that's I'm not sure because I'm not really good with the baking side right so I'm gonna pipe in the consistency you see that is the consistency that you should get after mixing the flour or something like garlic. The raffinade, but it's smooth, you know. And then you're gonna take your four large eggs, mix it with vanilla essence. Usually, the vanilla essence is just there so that the eggs don't smell. And then what's in that Heba Life Cup was a um homemade buttermilk so how you make homemade buttermilk is with vinegar and milk so if you take one cup of one and a half cup of milk and then you take one um one and a half teaspoon of vinegar or lemon juice you leave it for a long time so that it stiffens before you use it i couldn't wait for that long time because this was a last minute decision it still worked but it didn't work as much as I knew it would have worked. When you need, don't need too much. We are not cooking bohore here. <laughs> you just mix. It's a matter of mixing so that you can achieve soft, nice, baked biscuits, cookies, <sighs> scones. Sorry, scones. So as you can see, I was cleaning the space before to go a full home because obviously we're working on a surface that needs you to roll out the door right so a gapumula and stuff right so that it's clean and everything everything so what i did is that i had my pans preheated right so that it's easy to grease them since i don't have baking paper or what's this yeah baking paper or um the, that that spray yeah so then yeah we're going to get here here the dough and <clears throat> um this is how it's supposed to in your hands it's supposed to feel like it's a little bit slimy to you know to obtain a soft scones right the first the first couple of them i did it way too flat you know as i can say it was too flat right but then moving forward either way nice and a foot of fat <laughs> and also i guess we still like i used a small cutting piece like i used that because it was first of all at home we are a lot secondly when you bake and they turn out great they eat them like <laughs> so i ch i changed that um glass and used one with a bare opening right because i just wanted them to have like three and be full and enough <laughs> It's here, guys. <laughs> well, here I am uh, breaking an egg so that I can garnish the top of the scones before they go into the oven. This I usually do because I want to achieve that golden brown um, look, right? Otherwise, I think you can, but like it just doesn't get as golden brown as it's 
like it's supposed to if i can say that yeah Adibo, this were the first ones and when i took them out, i was like mm, this was the perfect size because it's a lot but then i changed the size because you can see now the size like <sighs> then now i'm gonna go and see now i'm gonna go and see 